Aboriginals have been sucking up our benefits ever since we saved them. Free housing, free education, free clothes slash supplies. Centrelink payments purely because they have no interest in working and being honourable taxpayers. So, uh, where do we get all this free shit from? Centrelink. Centrelink. Is that in the centre of town? I have no time for this. So no free left? Well, at least I know what they mean by we are young and free. <laughs> Hi, I'm here for my free Toyota, my free housing, my free schooling and my free fortnightly payments. What are you talking about? You don't get any of that stuff. Well, according to Facebook comments, I get all of that when I turn 18. And I've been 18 for a while, so I'll take back payments. Actually, better make them black payments. So let's take a look at the smooth and easy process shared by Aboriginal Australians to access the same social welfare the rest of country had enjoyed for decades. With the traditional way of life dissolved and other options such as the church, slavery, massacres and indentured servitude no longer viable options, the Australian government finally brought about some relief in 1959 when they amended the Social Security Act to include Aboriginal people. Indigenous people could have access to the same social services benefit as the rest of the country. But of course, back in 1959, blackfellas had quite a few obstacles to collecting the newly awarded social services. Hi, I'd like to get me some of those benefits. Can I see your birth certificate, please? What's that? A birth certificate is a legal document that details the registration of your birth. It sounds like some white people shit. Well, where do I get that? It is given to your parents at the hospital where you're born. I wasn't born in a hospital. Well, then you are ineligible for social security payments. Next. Not having a birth certificate or any idea when you were born excluded most Aboriginal people from getting social security. Hello, sir. You realise you must be 65 years or older in order to receive the old age pension? I am 70 years old. Can you prove it? I was a young man during the Great War. Do you have a birth certificate? No. Uh, what, you gammon? Sir, please go to the back of the line. Are you going blind? Yeah, I am going blind. No, uh, not you, Uncle. Her. This man is clearly over 65 years old. I'm sorry, but without proof of age, I cannot authorise any payments. Next. Of course, back in 1959, the term official pretty much meant having a white person vouch for you. Fortunately for Norman, he knew of the retired teacher and activist Mary Bennett, and she helped him write a letter and gathered evidence to support his case. This would have been so much faster with the computer. Yeah, you mob. You want a fee? Once word got around that the kind woman in Kalgoorlie was helping blackfellas, while well, Mary was working day and night right up until her death. It turns out that proof of age wasn't the only obstacle to getting social services. Being illiterate excluded the majority of the population. Not knowing that social security even existed was another obstacle. Uh, can I please get a two-piece meal with a Coke? And there was even a clause in the amendment that excluded any individual who lived a traditional or nomadic lifestyle. But perhaps the biggest impediment of all was that blackfellas were not even considered citizens of the country that whitefellas had made around them. I hear that you can get some money from the government. 